All right, welcome to today's lecture. We're going to talk a little bit more and continue talking about helping your clients through auctions. All right, so let's get started. So far, we've talked about the different types of auctions there are, and we've talked about the benefits to the auction buyer, the auction seller, and you as an agent. So we're going to talk a little bit more today about identifying the properties and how you can identify sellers and help them analyze if this auction is potentially a good thing for them. All right. So the first thing we want to do is conduct some due diligence. We want to try and research these properties and see if we can find uh, people that are who's buying. Uh, even more crucial, who's bidding on bank owned homes. Auctioneers have lists of people that have registered and perhaps they would be interested in helping you by giving you that list. Or you could do some quid pro quo about, hey, if you help me, I can help you by bringing the client to you. All right. So you can always do a, uh, a little due diligence on the properties to find out where your target market's going to be. All right. One of the things you can do is obviously do a title review. Make sure that you get the preliminary title done on the property prior to taking it to auction. That way you know if there's anything coming up or what liens they're going to have to clear. All right. You also want to make sure that you can get into the property and inspect it prior to the auction so that you will have some good idea and present the best property there is at the time of the auction. You also want to look at the neighborhood where the auction is going to take place. All right. So look at just not <laughs> don't look at just the house, I guess, is what I was trying to get with that. Uh, look at the neighborhood to make sure that it is going to be a desirable neighborhood, because that is one of the things that most buyers look at is the neighborhood as well as the house. OK. Then do some due diligence with the MLS system and get in there and look at some of the recent activities that have gone on. What's the days on the market? What are these kind of items that are going to be ancillary uh, to the sale, but could greatly increase the, the potential of a sale? All right. Are there pricing trends in the market? Is the market going up? Is the market going down? And you can do that by looking at historical data in the MLS system. All right. So market drivers, that's what we were just talking about. Is there going to be other properties that could potentially help you determine uh, what's going to be good or the negative sides of this so you can start to combat that before you actually get to the auction itself? Okay. <clears throat> Look at the potential upsides. These are going to be key areas that you want to market when you're marketing this house at an auction. Is it near school? Is it near transportation? Uh, what, you know, what is, is it near uh, other stuff? Um, I, I just drew a blank. I'm sorry. Uh, for instance, the house I live in is wooded. That may be a great uh, upside to use as a marketing place. Are there other home open houses that are going on in the neighborhood? Because you could potentially go to those agents and go, hey, look, if you've got clients that came in here that didn't have an agent and they didn't like this house and now you're going to be the buyer for them, I've got an auction coming up in this neighborhood that they could potentially be interested in. So use open houses to uh, make sure that <clears throat> to help find more buyers. Um, zoning. Typically not a big issue, but I just wanted to throw it in there. If the house is zoned for a potential of commercial or there's zoning around it, that could be that has been converted to commercial. Potentially, your auction could be based upon a zoning change. Maybe it's zoned D2 or R2. That could be a double. Maybe it's not zoned R2 and it is a double. That could be another issue that we see about. You also want to make sure that you deal with the auctioneer and look at all his documents so that you know what to expect from him. What part of this is he going to do? What part is he not going to do? What can you help him with? What can he help you with? So all of these things are important in trying to find your target market. 
Obviously, you want to talk to him about one important issue, and that is the financing issue. Is your client going to be allowed, or are buyer clients, whether they're yours or someone else's, going to be allowed to do financing? These are a strong topic that you want to talk about, all right? So, basically, that's a quick overview of what uh, the due diligence you need to look for in your properties. What we're going to do now is take a little break and come right back with the next section, okay? Okay.